SWAT team surrounding a home in Louisville's Shawnee neighborhood after what turned out to be a double shooting. And the shooting happened on Lindell Avenue, leading to a standoff at a home just across the street. Wake News reporter Alina Noakes live right now from the scene with more on what she's found out so far. Yeah, this street was busy with police and LMPD SWAT team earlier today as they were conducting a standoff at a home believed to have a suspect involved in a shooting on Lindell Avenue earlier this morning. Now, police believe there was a potential person of interest in that home who had been involved in that shooting. The victim remains in serious condition at a local hospital. LMPD SWAT team later discovered a second man with a non-life-threatening gunshot wound inside that home on West Broadway. Police say he was shot before police got involved. We spoke with people who live in the area who said they didn't hear the gunshots, but they weren't surprised when they found their homes surrounded by police. Uh, we was watching TV and we heard a lot of uh, sirens going through and we decided to look and when we looked, there was cops going all behind this alley and cops all around the helicopters and they started blocking up the, the street and whatnot. We don't feel nothing because it happens every time. You know what I'm saying? We just hope that one of those bullets don't catch us. You know what I'm saying? That's all. All my kids be raised up in a calm, collective, responsible neighborhood. That everybody fend, not fend for themselves, but everybody do what's right for themselves. Now, as you just heard, those we spoke to say they want this community to be safe, but something has to change. They say leadership in the city and the community needs to get involved to stop the violence from playing out in their neighborhood. Now, at the moment, we don't know who all was involved or taken into custody in this case, but we'll be sure to let you know right here and on thewavenews.com. In the Shawnee neighborhood, Alina Noakes, Swift News. Thanks, Alina.